Hi guys and welcome to the final episode of Foot Champions this week. Currently we are sat on a very, very nice streak. Well, is it a nice streak? I don't think it's a nice streak, but it's a nice record of 27 wins and 3 losses uh, so far with 10 games left to play. If we look at the top 100, I know this is going to change by the time this video has gone out anyway because um, I've only I've only played 30 games. A lot of people won't have even gone near the 40 games yet. But currently we are sat 63rd in the world, which is absolutely insane. I, I just tweeted I was 64, so I've gone up one spot. Interestingly enough, I don't know how that's happened, um, but we've gone up a spot since I last checked, which is very, very good. Currently, this month, we've played 150 games. We've won 125, which is 25 losses over five weeks so far. Um, we could pick up a few losses in these 10 games, but... It's looking like we could be on for our best ever finish. Our best ever finish was last week, which was 35 wins. And uh, if we lose um, two games now in these 10 batch, uh, we're going to match it again. But... Uh, hopefully that isn't the case guys. I'm doing something very very different this week and I will let you know what that is at the end of the video um, as I haven't played the 10 games yet so we're going to get into them in a sec. But the team we are using, if you guys haven't seen, um, actually no, I'll show you the current rank for this week as well. So we're 27 games, uh, won, 3 lost, three play, uh, 30 played, 10 games remaining. Currently at gold 3, 2 wins away from elite 3 which is the guaranteed free team of the week pack and uh, if we get to elite 1 we get the 6 team of the week pack and if we get top 100 which potentially could happen this time round. Um, who knows? Who knows? So, top 100, blah, 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 done. If you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely brilliant. And, guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So, these are going to be, like, the last game, guys, literally eight minutes, and the guy rage quits. So we didn't even lose fitness, but we did lose contracts. And you can see the bench there. Some nice-looking cards um, on the bench ready to do some damage. And I might actually put... Um, is it an artist I put? I think it's an artist. Yeah, it's an artist I put on Vidal, so um, I haven't done that. I've been bringing him on. Anyway, he's a very good player, is that Vidal card, but his normal card's good, so I can't really see the difference. He's made six super sub appearances, not really done much apart from shut the game out, which is what I want him for, and hopefully we can do that again today. So, guys, leave a like rating, subscribe if you're not, and fingers crossed we can do all right in these 10 games and hopefully finish off very, very fucking strong. So, guys, final 10 games. First game up against a super team. Super team because it's actually quite untradeable. It has got loads of uh, SBC cards. Dembele, Parolo, uh, Willian, Hazard, and uh, just to name a few others. It's a very solid team, um, but got exposed very, very early on. With Benzema actually being the forefront of this, allowing Bale to uh, get the shot off in the 11th minute to make it 1-0. Now, I think there's something in this game which you guys may have may not have seen on Twitter. Um... I think you have. I think you will have seen it on Twitter if you've seen it. And it's basically um, what a lot of people have been talking about over the past couple of days, which is the momentum um, and a few things noticed within the EA script. Now, a lot of people have said that these are not active scripts because they've got the two uh, backward slashes or forward slashes, which means they are irrelevant. But has opened up a lot of things to question. Now, you guys know about the kickoff boost or the revenge goal as we started call calling it in the last episode. And this happened um, there. Now, if you guys go back and watch that, um, a lot of people say it's the game's fault. I honestly don't believe it because there's a lot of mistakes I make when conceding goals. And you guys must know that I obviously um, do say in my videos that if a goal's conceded against me, more than likely there will have been a mistake which leads up to that to allow my opponent to score. And any time I do lose, it's very, very rare that I'll call EA bullshit. It's, it's always down to me. It's down to the player. It's down to the person. And that's why you see the professional FIFA players going 40 out of 40. And you see the other players um, like myself, Nepenthes, Fairs, A9 Skills, Marshall, etc. Um, hitting the high heights but not overcoming um like the the bullshit within game there's always bullshit within the game but there's always mistakes that we cost and they're the mistakes which obviously cost us a lot of goals now when it comes to the professional fifa player they, they know how to overcome them they know how to score more goals than the opponent they know how to defend stuff a lot better than us and uh, this game it probably wouldn't have been 4-3 if it was the likes of gorilla playing it was uh, thankfully 4-3 to me and there's a lot of stuff going on this week which has uh, helped me out so we are able to continue um pushing towards that high finish mark with a 4-3 victory um in extra time 
time. Even though it was a game of dominating, I did allow my opponent in. So we're up to 28 wins now for the week, which is absolutely solid. Then we come up against K Greaves, Ballhead FC. Uh, we team in the group stage, Mertens, Michael Owen and Raheem Sterling. A lot of pace up front and a very solid midfield as well with uh, Dembele, Inform Nangolan and Inform Bo second Inform Bozovic, sorry, Inform Manlas, Kyle Walker, Chiellini, Sandro and I think it was Han Inform Handanovic in net. We allow our opponent to run in at us there with Brozovic. Went down very, very weakly. I, I was really pissed about that penalty being given away and that he did convert it. Now, just because I was ragging his shirt, that was why the penalty was given. No, no other reason. So it's down to me um, pressuring him in the wrong angle. But not long afterwards, guys, we do get our um, we do get our little bit of a reward. A nice dribble there, dispossession um, from Hullet and uh, a ball over to uh, Benzema who gets on the score sheet yet again. He is proving his worth in my teams. I really do enjoy Benzema now. Um, but my opponent was very, very strong. You see the final goal uh, of the game here, guys, which was caused. This is a little bit of EA bullshit. Um, you see the ball bouncing off all the players, through the players, and it, and it was a goal, but um, he did deserve it. He deserved this victory. Um, no complaints about it. Just the complaint on the style of goal which was scored, but he probably could have scored a few better of others uh, than that. Very even game, as you guys do see. Um, he had better pass accuracy and uh, less shots, but was clinical in front of goal. So he walked away with the victory, giving us our four loss of the run. Our next opponent, SBCs for days, guys. Emre Chan. Um, he's got Defoe down in the centre mid. In form, uh, sorry, SBC Kazawa and uh, SBC Sun. This game started off very nicely with a nice pork shot there from Gareth Bale into the bottom corner, making it 1-0 in the early minutes of the game. Um, probably shot my opponent into... Um, a few more mistakes, and when you're rocking Defoe in centre mid, you know there's going to be a lot of trouble. Benzema scoring a brilliant goal there with the rising finesse shot to make it 2-0 um, in the fifth minute of the game. 2-0, and my opponent just could not get a handle on this game. But he did have a quiet 20 minutes, but then Pogba steps on up with a half volley there to make it 3-0. Dab on him. Um, I don't dab on opponents, as you guys do know, but uh, uh, obviously Pogba's go-to celebration is that. The next one is a corner technique which we've been messing around with which is basically the pass and play leaves a massive gap in the middle and Benzema yet again driven finesse shot what a load of power 4-0 in the 61st minute um, brilliant little finish so when we're talking about this guys I also do want your input into the uh, Reddit post which I presume a lot of you guys will have read do you believe it do you believe in home handicap do you believe in player rating and bronze benching do you believe um that there is scripting, there is momentum in the game because even if there is momentum in the game you guys have got to realise there is momentum in real life with games, you guys have seen it uh, example, and a, ga and a game of an example, Liverpool I'm a Liverpool fan, you guys know that, Champions League final against AC Milan, we were, we, we were down at half time and then the momentum just shifted towards us and we were able to get back into the game, another thing was also, another one was also Liverpool recently as well with the Dortmund game, uh, where we were down, we needed loads of goals to uh, get back into it and we went, went and did it even in the 90th minute with Lovren um, this game player rating he has obviously bronze bench he has a sick team like I've got no complaints about that um, 185 rated whereas mine's 190 it doesn't affect matchmaking. You guys know that I played on PlayStation the other week. Um, my team rating was a 182, I think it was, 182 or 183. Uh, was bonds benched uh, with a few bronzes, um, but did have a reasonably low rated team. Did it stop me coming up against the higher rated teams? It did not. I come up against loads of high rated teams and... Um, got slapped by them as well and it's the same even on this account so even though I'm rocking with a 190 I'm not just coming up against the 190s you guys have seen the teams that I play against every week in the four episodes uh, of the 40 games you're going to see of this weekend you'll see that it's not just sided towards um, me getting the low rated teams because I've got a high rated team or me getting high rated teams because I've got a high rated team and there's nothing in game which causes that as long as the player is dominant I reckon you're still going to be successful uh, and a lot of people are trying to use it as a bit of an excuse to why they are losing games um, but honestly guys like I'm able to record my footage I'm able to edit it back you guys see every goal every uh, every goal every important thing which happens in the games and more than likely it all stems down to a mistake by myself so um I'm gonna quash it I, I'm I'm not really interested I don't really believe in it um I know a lot of people have like placebos where um, I actually played 40 games this weekend at home. Did it give me any advantage? In my opinion, no. I still lost games. I still lost four games. Did I finish? Um, I lost four games so far, sorry. Um, do I think it changed anything? No. 
the reason I did it was not purely down because someone said it, it gives you a better advantage. The reason I did it was purely down to editing, and that's because when I score a goal, the audio spikes look better, so it makes it easier, and especially over the Christmas period, I thought I'd try it out. It did work. This game, 5-3. He rage quit. He was gone. So even though he had a super team, guys, he was gone. And we did pick up a win against probably probably our most difficult opponent, actually, um, of the day. Uh, I had to leave the Discord call with Nep and uh, Marshall just to fully concentrate on the game. When I did that, we were able to get a few more goals in. This game didn't start off good, guys. We allowed uh, Remy in on goal here. You know how strong he is. He doesn't have the best of shot, but thankfully the post allowed it to bounce straight back to his foot um, for him to make it 1-0 in the 17th minute. We were able to get an attack straight away. You can see how backed off his defence are, um, but just shielding and allowing the runners allows Ronaldo in for the driven shot past the keeper. 1-1. Back to level terms. That's what I wanted. Um, didn't really want to be prolonging my opponent having the lead for a while because the more he shuts up shop, the more better he gets about it. The more he's able to read me. Um, and thankfully, guys, just scoop turning, shooting. We were able to score goals. 35 minutes in the game. 2-1 in the lead. And uh, when once we do get in the lead, we are able to shut up shop a little bit. And obviously, for what I'm pushing for this week, guys, um, or oh, well, this month in, in general, I need to play catch-up on the monthly because of... The 30 weekend, the weekend where I went 30 games out of 40, that one killed me. It's still a good it's still a good finish, 30 games out of 40, don't get me wrong. We've not ever finished less than Elite. Um, but for the monthly, which is a long-term aim, to get them 44 red informs, it could have cost, uh, well, it has cost so far. We're still playing catch-up um, even with this weekend. We come against Tom Taylor 99 with a red card, red to pie. Uh, Kante, loads of SBC cards, including Mashford. I think this was probably... The second time I come up against Rashford, but a nice BPL team nonetheless. Uh, fast as hell defence. Um, and it was taking ages to break him down. You can see the slow passing which we're making. He made a step up with his defence, allows Bale in. Nice bit of skill, nice shot, 1-0. It could have been blocked easily off the line, but it wasn't. And thankfully it went in. You can see the possession there. 61% to his 39. Um, but allowing my opponent in on the sideline, guys, allowed him to get a goal there with Marcus Rashford uh, to make it 1-1. That was a painful goal to give up, especially as it was probably his first attack of the game. But that's what happens when you're not clinical. He started opening up in the second half. You can see we're on a 2-on-2 two -two situation. Same bit of skill again. Breaks on the inside. Squares it through to George Best. Best legend in the game, guys. 2-1, 63rd minute. And uh, thankfully, that was all we did need to pick up a victory against a very tough opponent. Um, even though he only had a few shots, a few uh, not a lot of possession compared to me he was still dangerous in the attack and that's the teams which usually mess me up up against V Predators X this time with Schurler, Werner and also uh, the informed Dembele, uh, informed Werner as well and a uh, very solid defence but Navas in net, very rarely do I see Navas in net um, and thankfully Navas in that good especially when you've got Benzema taking near post low shots there uh, to make it 1-0 in the 8th minute of the game, there's some keepers I love playing against, Navas is definitely one of them um, I hate playing against Butland, as you guys do know. But there's a lot of keepers in game who are high rated and not that good. And uh, unfortunately, Navas is one of them. I think Bravo is probably the other, actually. 285s should be good. Definitely are not. 2 0. Benzema extends the lead. Into the second half we go, guys. Corner technique whipped in. Uh, failed it. Well, I, I, I did do say failed it because it was going to go to the back post, but it actually went straight to Ronaldo's head, uh, who was able to uh, make it 3 0. And then in the 80th minute, he pushes forward with Dembele um, and Castro, Werner, uh, straight through to Schurler, who gets a shot, luckily, off a deflection from Kyle Walker uh, to make it 3 1. But it was too little, too late for my opponent um, to get the goal. So we have, I think, three. Yeah, three more games left, guys, of the 30. So we need to push on hard. We still, oh, we're still on 33 wins as we look now. Um, three more wins would give us 36, which could give us a chance of getting top 100. And uh, hopefully it does. But you guys know, you could play like 10 easy games, but then that one hard game pops along and uh, completely messes you up. I watched Dr. Jabra on Twitch, as you guys know. He had eight games left. He needed all win, to, win all eight to get 38 wins. Um He's on PlayStation as well. Unfortunately, he lost one of the eight games, finished on 37, didn't make it into the top 100 because of how high um, the win ratio is on uh, on PlayStation compared to Xbox. So it shows you how important every win is. This game, we do pick up a 2-0 victory, sending us into our 39th game of uh, Foot Champions after a 2-0 victory against Brad Morgan. Teams we come up against. This one's pretty nice as well with the SBC Gamero, um, SBC Chadley, Ben Yedder. It is a very weak team, <clears throat> 
And don't get me wrong, the defence is very weak as well. And when he's got Imbula in the CDM position, he's probably committed half his team to get half of them SBCs, um, which is a risk a lot of people have took. The Pog Boom steps up. He's very rarely stepped up this week, but he did step up there to make it 1-0 in the 27th minute of the game. Brilliant finish. Um, I honestly thought he went wide, but it never. Um, and then just some bad clearances here allows Benzema to not do a little bit of showboating. I'm just trying to get a goal like that. It would have been nice if it wasn't blocked, but the rebound... Um, on a second bite of the cherry, does make it 2-0 before half-time. Benzema's brilliant. I love Benzema. Ronaldo holds up the ball here, runs on the outside. Nice bit of skill inside. Gets um, Bellerin a second yellow card, which did result on him getting a red card and uh, obviously a penalty to make it 3-0. My opponent wasn't for sticking around, though. Directly from that, he rage quit, and uh, that pushed us to our 40th game, guys, of the week. Sat on 35, joint highest record, up against... Musa, Aguero, um, Silva, Gundogan, Fernandinho, Matic, Herrera. Is it Herrera? I think it is Herrera, isn't it? And uh, in the 15th minute, guys, nice simple goal here. Bale to Ronaldo, 1-0. Game was looking really, really nice. Then we got this second goal, guys, just before half-time, as we bomb on forward to seal the 36th win, and it's Bale putting underneath the keeper. But are we going to stay in the top 100? That's going to be the aim. 36 wins. Let's go and find out. And there we are, guys. Another record uh, finish on the weekend league for myself. 36. One better than last week. And uh, obviously, guys, a 2-0 win at the end did all right. Now, a lot of people are asking why I'm changing my badge. And it's because people back out when they do see the uh, um, the green with a star and stuff. You know, the one from Liga 2. Um, so I change my badge every now and then as well. Just to freshen it up so people don't um, back out against me. So with that, guys, um, dominant win as you can see resorted that guy to no shots on target even though he did have a decent team but the main thing which has happened today guys is we have finished on 36 wins which keeps us in 20th place temporarily for the um for the top 100. Now, obviously, there's still people going to be playing throughout Christmas Day and uh, obviously the early hours of uh, Boxing Day as well. Um, but I finished. That's me done. No games of FIFA on Christmas Day now. So I can have um, a nice day relaxing off and uh, only got to make a few videos now. So I'm happy with that, guys. Brilliant finish. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been very, very good. Resorting myself to only one loss per 10 games um, is absolutely amazing. And to finish there is absolutely brilliant. So, guys, enjoyed the video. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, I'll be back on Thursday. Thursday with the rewards and fingers crossed guys I do remain in the top 100 and uh, are able to bring you guys what they do give us